I think it's really cool to watch someone take uh, toys and turn them into something that I didn't even think is possible. I remember uh, I, was, I was still in primary. We used to play um, Diketo and we used to play Bati, which is like it's a ball, you make ball, you make a ball out of uh, uh, thing paper and plastic and then yeah, you hit each other with it. When I got to school, I never really thought about what I did at home. You know, what I did at home was just uh, playing, fine. Then when I get to school, it was like, okay, school, strict, I have to do this. Like, if I don't, the teacher will beat me. And then like, okay, fine, yeah. And then that's, it, was, it was never, I never related it to science. I never even, like, it never came to my mind. Children born to learn, even before going to school, they do a lot of activities. But if you try to connect that activities with their school education, with the school science education, then actually they correlate. This is uh, what I am doing outside the school. But this is not just play. There's some science concept also hidden inside that play. And if you taught that science concept through activities, I think they understand science better. In school, we all had that thing. We, we, were, to, we were made to believe that science is difficult and then you, we get scared of it because we never, we're never really exposed to it at a younger stage. We think of it as a monster that's just gonna make you fail and then you get to grade 10 and you're just like, okay, fine, I'm just gonna go for something easy because well, be said I'm gonna fail if I do science. We didn't even have a science lab. We never really got to engage with science like even the the people who did science they just knew it because like the teacher would come to the room and say okay this is velocity blah 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 and then that's how you know it okay fine you never really get to like um they tell you okay this is how it happens this is why we call it this and you know so yeah it was it was bad it was bad because what you were told is what you would you had to believe in we don't need very expensive laboratory for teaching the science. With help of the common available material, you can design your own things, own experiment, and teach the science. I really wish uh, programs like SciFest would go around everywhere in South Africa, everywhere in the rural areas, because it's really bad out there. They, they should be made aware that science is everywhere and science is, is, is fun. Situation of the South African situation of the India is almost same. We, we are developing uh, like a countries, and uh, science education is very behind uh, in both the countries. So we try to uh, little bit uh, our effort to put the to make the science education more interesting. And if you make the child a science education more interesting, maybe for school high school level or um, primary school level, then there is a chances to get. Uh, uh, children try to go to science stream and probably in future you'll get the great scientist. Kids in the rural areas should, um, I wish it was possible that they were told and they were made to believe that whatever that they do, whether they, they are walking or playing or shouting, whatever they do is science. I think then they would know that they shouldn't be afraid of it. The fact that it's related to the things that I play with, I wouldn't have seen it as a scary thing. I would think that it's just something that I do every day. It's now that I realize that it was all science. Um, when the stone goes up as you play Diketo, it's science. When you hit each other with the ball and then it gets there and like there's a reason why like when you when you pull when you let the ball go, there's a reason why it doesn't go up and it goes down. And you realize now that actually I've been doing, I've been experimenting all along. La film.